Okay, today what we're going to talk about is CV joints. Carry on with our series here. And I'm going to show you basically your CV joint. I'll just fit it on here, okay? CV joint that comes on the shaft. If you can do that with it, there's something wrong with it. This has no balls in it. If you've lost drive, then maybe this would have collapsed. However, I've stripped this out just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so removing the CV joint, the best thing to do is to, if you're gonna keep the CV joint, if it's in good condition, is use a copper mallet. And it's just giving it a couple of whacks and that should slip off easily unless somebody's bodged it on there, like that. In the end of the shaft, you have a slot. This has a snap ring in it, and it's easy to remove with possibly a screwdriver. All right, you have a collar here, which is also a spacer. So, when you put your new CV joint on, you have a new snap ring, and make sure your collar's there. CV joint itself, is lubricated with CV joint grease. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but first I'm gonna fit this dry. The reason I'm gonna fit this dry is to make sure that my splines match up. Because CV joints actually can come in different spline uh, amounts, you've got to make sure that it will fit. It's also wise to make sure that the component is okay before greasing it up. The other thing I want to do is just to make sure that the movement is all right on the half shaft. If I'm going to be using a CV joint again, then the same thing applies is checking the movement and seeing how much slack is actually in the CV joint and how much wear there is there, grabbing hold of it and twisting it on the splines to see how much play there is between the splines. This isn't too bad, this is in very good condition, so this one will be used again. So basically what I'm doing is just grabbing it and checking it Checking the spline wear, if any, and making sure it's okay before it's greased up and put on properly. I mean, if there's any issues here, at least you don't have to wash it out to send it back for a replacement part, do you? The other important factor is to check the splines are not twisted or any of them are missing. If reusing a CV joint, make sure that the drive flange is okay on the splines as well. Generally cleaning a CV joint, an old CV joint, just be careful that the uh, balls don't drop out because it can be fun and games trying to get all this back together. However, it is possible. The splines here were rusty and I gave that a good clean with a wire brush in the wash tank. Handy little wash tank for bench top and it actually takes about 15 litres of paraffin, which I'm, is what I'm washing this in. But this has brought this up all right just to get the grot out of it because you know how hard it is to remove once they do get rusty. All right, so after a dry run, then at least once it's greased up, the clip can be put on, squeezed into place, and the CV can be banged on. Okay, so greasing up the CV joint is a matter of putting lubricant into the assembly. You get this packet with your CV joint kit, and we just shove it in. Working it in, and all the faces and the balls and everything else need to be lubricated and it needs a little bit of reserve left for while it's working because you will get oil in here, you'll get your grease in here, however, it still needs to be lubricated. Never fit an assembly dry. Okay, so once some grease is in, you can then work it. Give yourself plenty of time, work the grease well into all the assembly and also slip a little bit of grease on the splines as well. I'll leave it up to you if you want to use a pair of gloves or something like that, but as easy as that. Once it's lubricated, also lubricate the splines a little bit. That helps it along its way, take up a little bit of the slack. Don't forget to put the collar on, that's really important, and then put the CV joint into place. I've got the clip here, and that's easy 
to put on. You should always really replace them. If you're gonna fit the CV joint, and you just whack it on like that, you might well have a problem because this needs to be squeezed up a bit. So what I'll do is I'll get a pair of pliers here, and I'll squeeze it up, then knock it on. What it is with this, it's using a pair of long needle nose pliers, and then just tap it into place, so it will go easily. So if you just missed that, it's a matter of squeezing this up. Hang on, we'll get it just right. Some people use a cable tie. Get the CV and slip it till it's butted up with the clip so it's holding it in place. And I'm making sure that it's squeezed up. I'm now going to zoom out the camera. And I'm holding that so it's in place and whack, straight, that goes on. So it's as easy as that. CV joint construction is a bit like a Chinese puzzle. You have your ball bearings, cage and races, and it is possible to put back together. You can strip it to clean it, or just, if you have a spare one, take it to bits, then try and put it back together. There's a little challenge for you. It's hours and hours of fun.